hello everyone today we will be learning the working of nacl so nacl is network access control list so uh, we can provide security to the instances available in the aws platform via two ways so first one is through nacl and the second one is through security group so nac the rule that you are applying via nacl is applied on subnet level while when you are applying security via security group so that is applied to the instances so suppose these two instances are present in subnet 1 so if you apply any rule on this nacl level both the, the that rule will be applied to both the instances present in this nacl similarly uh, if you apply some rule on this nacl level that is created in subnet 2 so that rule will be applied to these two instances present inside this subnet so one subnet uh, can be associated with one nacl rule but one subnet cannot be associated with multiple nacl rule so one nacl rule can be applied to multiple subnet right but vice versa is not true so whatever rule you are applying to the instances on the subnet label that should be applied for a from a single nacl rule so in today's lab task what we will be doing we will be creating a custom vpc in any availability zone in one region and we will create uh, its necessary component like subnet internet gateway and routing table and we will launch one linux instance in the public subnet and uh, we will allow all the traffic so in the security group we will allow all the traffic but at subnet level we will set some rule and we will not allow all the traffic right so what what i am saying at the security group level i will allow all the traffic to the instances so inside this subnet on each instance we are up allowing all the traffic but higher to this security group you can see here subnet is present right and on that subnet we will not allow any traffic to the instances so we will see even if you have allowed all the traffic to the instance you will not receive traffic from the internet or anywhere uh, if at the nacl level it is not allowed so i'll show you the working of the nacl in the lab scenario so first we will create one vpc and uh, then we will launch one linux machine inside that vpc then we will create a custom nacl so default in default nacl all the traffics are allowed right but in custom nacl by default all the traffics are denied i'll show you in the lab environment so i'm just going to aws platform i will go to vpc and will create one custom vpc So right now only one VPC is present in Mumbai region. I'll create one more VPC and inside the VPC we will create one public subnet. So VPC and I am just choosing VPC and more option. And here I am just selecting custom VPC. CIDR block I am assigning 10.0.0.0 16 that is the default value so i'm keeping it same now go to availability zone now i'm just creating only one public subnet and no private subnet now we can customize subnet and i'm writing here only slash 24 so that the ip address assigned to the instance present in the subnet should be within this 256 ip address range nat gateway i'm not selecting anything for vpc and endpoint i'm not selecting anything so i'm creating my vpc now so along with vpc all the other uh, associated associated things are created now inside this vpc we will create one ec2 instance so i'm just going to ec2 here
there is no EC2 instance in the running state. So I will go and create one EC2 instance. So you can provide any name for that EC2 instance. So I'm just selecting Linux machine and I'm selecting one previous version so that there will be less security on that machine. Instance type, I'm selecting t2.micro. Key pair, I'm creating one key pair. KPNACL. I'll connect via putty. Now in the network setting, I need to edit this one. So VPC, I need to select the custom VPC that we have created today. Now the public and auto assign public IP should be enabled. And in the security group, I will allow SSH connection. And apart from that, I will allow all the traffic. from anywhere so that is it I am just launching this EC2 instance so if you go to instances after some time this one will be in the running state okay now I will go to VPC Inside this VPC, I will create one custom NACL. So whenever you create VPC, one default NACL rule is created, right? But we need, need to create one more NACL rule apart from this default rule. So if you go to the security part, just go to NACL and you can see here, one default rule is created and this one is associated with my VPC. Now I'll create one custom NACL and here I'm just writing custom NACL. I'm selecting my default uh, custom VPC that I created. Now I'll create my NACL. So right now when I created NACL no subnet is associated with this NACL and as, as I told earlier one subnet will always be associated with one NACL. So here you can see this subnet is associated with the default NACL but once I will associate this subnet to the default the custom NACL uh, you can see it will be removed from here. So now I just want to go to EC2 And I'll show you right now I will be able to connect with this EC2 instance but once I will associate the subnet that is associated with this EC2 inst instance with custom NACL in that case I will not be able to connect with EC2 instance I will connect with this EC2 instance via putty I'm pasting IP address here, SSH, auth, I'm browsing the, the key pair. Okay, so right now I am able to access with this EC2 instance and uh, if you will try to ping the internet, I think I will be able to ping that. Yeah, I am able to ping to the internet. Now I will associate this EC2 instance with custom NACL. So I am going to this 
NACL here. I'm going to here again, custom NACL. Now I'm going to subnet association. So if you go edit subnet association, so I want to associate this subnet. So I'll go here and pick that subnet to whom you want to associate with this custom NACL. Now save changes. So if you, you can see here, earlier this subnet was associated with the default sub, uh, NACL. Now it is changed to this custom NACL. Now if you try to connect, right? So I'm just opening putty here. So it will not allow me to connect, right? So I'll show you. It will reflect here network error kind of thing. So why this happened, I will show you that. Okay, so you can see network error up appeared here. Now, if you go and see the information, right? If you go here and see the inbound rule. So in the inbound rule, you can see all the traffic are denied here. So all the inbound traffic are denied here. If you go and check the outbound traffic, so if you go and check the outbound traffic, edit outbound rule, so you can see all the traffic is denied. That means from the subnet level, I have not allowed any traffic to enter to the instance and as well as leaving to the, from the instance, right? Now what I'll do, uh, NACL is stateless means if you have allowed inbound traffic that doesn't mean it will allow outbound traffic also right so suppose uh, i will edit the inbound rule and in the i will add rule here so you need to always start rule number from 100 so i'm just allowing ssh connection right suppose i'm allowing ssh connection from anywhere right and if I am not changing in the outbound rule, still traffic will be, you will not be able to connect to the EC2 instance. Okay. So suppose I am just writing here. Because in the outbound traffic, it is not allowed right now. Okay, so you will see you will not be able to connect with this EC2 instance. Why? Because in the outbound traffic, I am not getting reply from somewhere, right? So right now I will not be able to connect. But once I will allow traffic here also. I will add one more rule here. Suppose and now you can see here network error appeared. I will allow traffic from anywhere right so you can allow custom tcp in that case you can get reply from the traffic so uh, 10242 because before 1024 uh, 0 to 1 0 to 3 ports are occupied for some specific protocol so you can use the port range after this 1024 to 65535 now, if I am doing save changes here, right? So, in that case, suppose I am just opening one duplicate. That is, I am just restarting this session. So, it allowed me to access the EC2 instance. So, the reason behind this one is, what is happening? You, in NACL, you allowed inbound traffic, right? means this from the this EC2 instance you have a lot traffic from here to here.
but when you are sending reply from here to here you are not able to send reply so to connect with ec2 instance you need sh right but to send reply for the connection purpose you are you need you can use any port because ssh uh, connection is coming under tcp connection so that's why you can use custom tcp range to send reply right reply can be received in any of the port number but uh, connection request will always be made on 22 port number that is available for ssh connection so you can see here i am able to connect with my ec2 instance why because in nacl rule i have applied that now if you'll try to ping to the internet from here right like we did uh, at the time of the custom connection so you will see i will not be able to connect with the internet so why so i'm just going because in the nacl rule i have not allowed for that so if you go just check the inbound rule i have not allowed internet traffic only i have allowed ssh connection and for the all other traffic i have denied so go and edit the inbound rule and for the pinging purpose you need to use icmp protocol okay so i'm just writing rule number so it should be in the multiple of hundreds in most of the cases so i'm just allowing icmp all icmp report right now i'm doing save changes now i'll show you whether i will be able to connect with the internet or not So again, I am not able to ping to the internet. Why? Because I have not allowed HTTP connection, right? So if I go here and uh, in the NACL rule, edit inbound rule, if I allow add one new rule, 300, then I will make this one as HTTP connection. now I want to check it whether it will allow or not okay so it is not uh, allowing why because you need to allow in the outbound rule also so what I'll do I'll go to outbound rule I will edit HTTP uh, outbound road tra traffic. I will write here rule number 200. I will allow all ICMP v4 six connection uh, four connection. Apart from that, I will you can write any rule number that will not matter. Now I will allow HTTP connection. Okay, now I'll show you whether it will allow or not. Now you can see you are getting reply from the internet, right? So in the inbound as well as well as in the outbound rule, you need to set permission for receiving the data and sending the reply. So then only you will uh, be able to communicate. So that is it. I just wanted to show how NACM works.